Ladies and gentlemen, today I bring before your eyes and ears the happy news that the full realization of communism's hopes and dreams is on display should you care to hop on an overpriced flight to California and have a look at it. Now, I'm going to give you a pro tip, a life hack, if you will, for enjoying this spectacle in full because you don't want to be distracted. You're going to want to put something inside that mandatory mask you're going to be wearing out in California. Uh, maybe some raw cloves of garlic, a dash of smelling salts, hell, even one of your old gym socks will probably help because the smell where you're going is apt to curl your toes. You see, the current ship crisis that's affecting the entire nation is hitting California in a fun and interesting way. Homeless people are looting the grounded shipping containers. Duh. I can only imagine the narrative that the mainstream media is apt to spin out of this. I mean, you can picture the headline right now, uh, appropriately couched in the modern woke vernacular. Unhoused heroes use undocumented shopping carts to aid in shipping crisis by delivering goods themselves. Hey, the truth, of course, is that homeless people in coastal California have just hit the mother load and are in new and unusual ways obtaining goods that belong to someone else. Now, why tax the workers of the United States to death and then turn around and give that money to them through social programs when you could just cut the middleman out entirely? Now, of course, we're still going to tax you to death. That part's not going to change. Our economy's at a point so low right now that the limbo bar isn't even necessary, and the things like the shipping crisis are a huge part of that. And do I blame those homeless people for breaking into those shipping containers and taking stuff that doesn't belong to them? Do I? Do I? Hell yeah, I do. Uh, you thought I was about to go soft there for a minute. Listen, of course they shouldn't be doing that. You know and I know the redistribution of wealth through government coercion and the redistribution of wealth through outright theft are just two sides of the same damn coin. It's just a little more raw when you see it on the ground rather than having it done gradually to you. Now, you know that I'm all about the notion that Texas should be leading the way for this country. But I, I, I do like to recognize when other states help carry the torch. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis in Florida has begun offering incentive packages to shipping companies who unload cargo in his state. Why would he do that? Because he understands that the shipping element of our infrastructure is the lifeblood of the American economy, and he's worked hard to make sure that his state takes care of its own portion of that, whereas a lot of places are only just now starting to get their ports in working order after the craziness of the past 18 months. Florida's ports are, in the words of the governor, used to serving Florida farmers, families, and businesses with 24-hour operations. So listen, folks. Every time I think that the government of California has gone as far as it can to underline its legislative insanity with the same crayons it uses to color pretty pictures while it eats its corn dogs and french fries off the kids' menu every day, I am hit with the, another story like this one that reminds me of a simple fact. There's no level of stupidity they can't attain when they try hard enough. Make no mistake, California created its own problems with the homeless people, and it's perpetuating its own problems with the shipping and literally just about anything else you could think of. So folks, let's be more like Florida and really think through our problems instead of building back better. Let's build back some basic common damn sense. Is that really too much to ask? My God, can that big one just hit California <laughs> and take it? Like, it just needs to sweep the morons out into the Pacific Ocean. Not everybody, if it could just, if the tsunami could just pick the morons.